Look at that. Look at the five and the stars. It is a shield nickel. I am so pumped right now. Guys, I got this back in my car now. I'm, I'm literally shaking like a leaf. Uh, I, I can't believe it. I just got another Mercury Diamond. This one is a 1921. It's a key date. Oh, 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 whatever this is, it's definitely silver. All right, we're out hunting a really old house today. Just gonna show it a little bit. It was built in the late 1800s, and it's in a, uh, it's next to an old uh, plantation. And uh, first uh, decent target I got, only about two inches down, it appears to be an Indian head. And I think it's 1901, I'm not positive, but uh, I'll clean it up a bit later. It's in really good shape. Soil seems pretty soft here, so the find should come out in good condition. So we'll see what else we can get. Okay, I'm working around the side here. There's another shot of the house. Unfortunately, the front in between the uh, the trees that are down over this yard's really waterlogged really bad. The owner had, he said, like 130 truckloads or something like that of filled dirt put in the front. So there wasn't too much up there and a lot of super deep trash. But uh, there's Rick swinging there. I think he picked up a wheat scent in the front too, and I know Nikki has a buffalo nickel. I get down here in a little bit of a little bit of old gravel, and I hit a wheat scent. It's in pretty good shape. So there are some finds coming out of here. I got the trifecta. Oh, no, I got the grand slam. I got a zinc penny, a copper penny, a copper memorial, a wheat scent, and an Indian. Woohoo! I'll keep seeing. See what else we can find. All right, I hit a deep. 1246 this direction and this direction it hit 1443 it dropped and sounded like a penny tone I was gonna live dig it but uh it's really wet in this yard and uh I flicked it up from the bottom here it was a good six inches down anyway and it's a standing Liberty quarter and it looks like it's in really good shape I'm gonna try to get in on it there I'm hoping this is gonna be prior to the recessed date style it looks like it has a lot of detail on it I can't tell this, I think this is an early one. I'm not gonna rub it, I'm gonna get it in some water. This is in really good condition. Sweet. I'll get it in some water and I'll show it in a bit. All right, I'm only a couple yards from the SLQ. I got a 648 high tone, I'm about four inches down by the base of the driveway and I hit another silver quarter. Oh my gosh, it's a barber. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I thought this one was gonna be a Washington. I saw the real thick rim on it. This may be in really good shape. Detail on the back is really nice. Oh, sweet. I gotta get these in some water clean them up a bit. Oh, this is awesome. All right, I rinsed these off a little bit in some water. They were about a yard and a half apart. Uh, could have possibly been dropped around the same time. I was right from looking at the strike of the quarter. It is an early one. I'm glad it has a date on there. It's a 1918. I'll show them up more on the wrap up in the barber. It's in good shape. Um, it's a 1912, just a little bit of water on it there. Nice VG coin, beautiful piece. So uh, we'll see what else we can find here. OK, 
Okay, and uh, this is the reason why a lot of field dirt was used in the yard. You can see this marsh, you can see all the cat and nine tails, and there's a lot of ducks out there and wildlife. I'm not gonna try to zoom in right now. Uh, ah, there you go, sing for us. Okay. And that literally encroaches right up to the yard and the, the front portion of it. it is just extremely waterlogged. So that's why they had to use all, all the fill dirt. Um, this is the story you guys are interested in here. This garage is rumored to have a drug lord's stash of $100,000 in cash inside of it, inside of an old military ammo box. Um, the guy that lives here, it was his brother um, who died. Uh, a little ways back and um, when they looked in his apartment they found fifteen thousand dollars and uh, this this uh, garage here is where he used to do his uh, operations from and had all his chemicals and his cash and his expensive cars and his boat and uh, nobody ever found it his relatives had uh, borrowed metal detectors and had looked inside before and uh, never found it so uh, we're going to come back here someday after he cleans it out a little bit and we're going to search for it more thorough, see if we can't find it. Wouldn't that be awesome? $100,000 in cash. Of course it wouldn't be ours, but it would be the thrill of a lifetime. Yeah. Okay, off. Okay, this is, uh, Nikki found a second buffalo nickel, and I wanted to show this one, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up with the glare here, but this is one of the best dug buffaloes I've ever seen. You can see the 1917 date down there already on the bottom. Um, wait till you see the back of it. There's like no corrosion on this, and look at the full horn on there. So this is an, at least an XF coin. Doesn't look like there's a mint mark, which would have been awesome. This would have been with a mint mark. This would, would have been worth quite a bit of money, like over um, over forty dollars anyway. I'd have to check the certain dates, but this is one of the best dug buffaloes I've ever seen. Uh, we're just going to give this a real light rinse, get some of the loose dirt off, and this should look beautiful. Not something that needs cleaned. So there's some, definitely some finds here. It's unfortunate that the front of the yard's filled in because I'm sure there would have been a lot of amazing stuff up there. So we'll see what else we can find. Oh, there's a really good shot there. A lot of old brick there. It's a brick on the other side there. And this is what I wanted to show here. This is where they used to uh, mix chemicals um, to fire into the house to heat it. I'm not very familiar with the process of how they used to do this a long time ago. There's like little tunnels under here. Really cool someday to maybe dig one of these out, see if there's anything inside them.
There were lots of wasps in here at some point. There's some sort of crane or egret over there making noises too. Can't seem to get them on film though. It's being very elusive. That's the garage where supposedly the drug dealer stash is hidden. Alright, I'm under this tree with this stuff hanging all through my face. And i uh, just got a piece of an old uh, toy cap gun. So I'm glad I swung under here. You just never know. Back in the day, this was not here. And so you say the, the quarries used to be owned too by your family? Yeah. Marbledale and well, five different quarries were. Marbledale, that's why they call it that. Yeah. Is that downtown Knoxville over there in that top part? It is. Okay. Wow. That's neat. All right, we got a nice coin ball here, and I noticed as I uh, turned it over here, I have a hard time seeing through the viewfinder, the sun came out. I think we see a rim of silver there, in the coin ball. Knock a little bit of that off. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks like it's gonna be a, seal, be a silver rosy in the coin ball, sweet. I'm gonna crack it out here in a minute. I wanna go show Nikki real quick. Rick's always in the zone with his headphones on. You could yell at him, he can't hear nothing while he's hunting. <laughs> Knoxville in uh, 1904, and he was in the Tennessee State Legislature in 1911 and 1915. And he's the one that started the marble quarries and all. And, and then that's SF next to him, that's his oldest son, and then yeah. all these other sons. And then here is Hazen Chris, and he was sheriff of. Uh, Knoxville in 1940 to 1946 and this is my dad in the lower right hand corner <laughs> oh cool okay sorry if there's a lot of wind noise I'm trying to shield it really picked up but let's break this out <sighs> appears to be a 1956 D all right, see what else is in here. Twenty-five to nineteen thirty-four, uh, and he was killed on the track there. That's a cool car. And this is SF's uh, milk truck, June the fifteenth, nineteen fifteen. So. You know, you can... <laughs> wow, look at the picture. Let me try to get out yeah. without the glare, yeah. yeah. Come a long way since then. <laughs> That's cool. And SF had a, a brother, John, and he had a dairy called Riverside, which is the, you know, where the, the Holston and the French Broad Rivers meet? Yeah. Yeah. There at the mouth yeah. there. And you've got the UT Experimental Farm up on the hill. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That is John's farm. Oh, really? Uh, yes. Oh, wow. We got a lot of rain yesterday, and my uh, knees and feet are already soaked. And uh, I'm right down here by the marsh, by this old tree, quite a distance way in the back of the property. And I uh, didn't really expect anything back here, but you know, you never know. You, a property like this, you're going to check out as much as you can. You've got a high signal about two inches down. I thought it was just going to be a piece of a can or something and uh, it turns out to be a, it's a little disfigured, a little bent, but uh, it's good for one pint milk token. Really happy to have that. A first milk token of the year for me. So nice. On to the next. 1911 and here's the, here he is in 1915. I got a real faint peep in the backyard, probably about six yards from where I found that rosy. And uh, man, this was, I worked the signal from a bunch of different angles. Most angles, it sounded like iron. 
it was a good nine inches down maybe well maybe not quite ten probably nine inches down and uh it's another uh milk token this one's a little bit bent too but i think it's the same kind nice it's pretty neat here but uh, to explain the milk tokens, I found out this used to be a dairy farm. So that makes sense. Rick just found one too. And uh, I got a good signal over here on the strip on that side of the driveway is where I hit those two silver quarters. I got a good signal here coming in like 1246 at three inches down and there's not much clad here. And the clad that is here really isn't that deep except in the front where everything's been pushed around. So. Let me grab my shovel here and I'll grab that in a second. Let's uh, see. 1446. 1245. About, coming in about right around a three inch mark. However, I just did get it a aluminum grommet around the corner here it sounded like a silver coin it was down quite a ways so, uh, sorry about the zooming here let me try to get this in the best I can I'll just have to leave this out of focus while I'm digging the hole so I just want to get this open Sorry about the zoom issues here, I'm trying to fix it. I got a section in my zoom that is really bad from when I dropped my camera. Sounds good. I'm coming behind it a little bit. Maybe in here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Another milk token. Clean it up later. <laughs> 